Hello everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I'm going to show you how you can do a really easy summer scarf. So for that we're using of course some cotton yarn and that's perfect for warm weather. It's not going to keep you any warmer than you need to. It's going to be a triangle scarf this time and the wool size here is 7. I will be using my 6mm hook so it's going to be lovely to work with. So stay tuned. Okay, let's get started right away. So I have the So Cool So Soft Cotton Chunky, it's a huge name, 100 grams and 100 meters, 100% 100 cotton. So I'm doing a bit smaller hook this time, so my 6 millimeter one, and yeah, that's actually all we're going to need for today. The color number is 8 if you want this exact one. And this is indeed from our last haul, if you maybe saw that video as well. So yeah, let's get started right away. So I'm working it from the middle to the outside and since we're doing a triangle scarf, I'll start with a magic ring. There, a circle, go through and pull the yarn up, fingers go out of the circle. And now we can start with four chains. Then a yarn over and a treble. And right behind it another one. Then two chains, so that's going to be the tip of our triangle. And then we will do two more trebles. So same thing on the other side, of course. Here is the tip with two chains. So we started with four chains, then we did two trebles, and then the same thing on the other side plus a chain and another treble. So the last treble and chain are just to make it symmetrical to the four chains that we started with on the other side. So now we can pull the beginning to close the ring. And yeah, this is what we have for now, so I'll summarize one more time for the first row. So first we have the four chains we started with, then we have the two trebles, two chains and another two trebles, a chain and treble, and that's it for now. So I took a bit of yarn out of the spool and I'll again start the same way, four chains and then turn. Here is where I go through, again two trebles. Chain and I'll leave the stitch or the top of the treble, so leave that out and do a treble into the second treble. Again a chain at the very tip this time, then a treble there, two trebles or two chains and another treble. That's always what we're going to do for the tip so that it can keep growing. So we have for now four chains, then two trebles around the same spot, a chain, then we actually skipped one here and the next treble got a new treble, another chain, and around the two chains go a treble, two chains and a treble. Now we will go back, so we do one chain, and we just want it as symmetrical as possible. So here we do the first stitch, and then we do a chain. Leave the treble out, and then here in the bottom area we do the same as here 
in the beginning, so the same thing. Two trebles, chain and last treble. There we go. And our row two is done. So I'll summarize again what we did. So four chains, two trebles and a chain then. Then a treble, chain, here on top two trebles and two chains in between. Again a chain, then another treble here and a chain, two trebles and the chain and treble to end with. And that's it. So let's start row 3. Since this is pretty thick, the yarn, it gets really big really quickly. 4 chains, then turn, and then here we do 2 trebles. Chain, leave the next spot out and the following one gets a treble. Then we do another chain. Here the next treble, then again a chain and another treble onto the next existing treble. So you see that the trebles always get new ones, then the chains we skip with new chains and now we can get to the middle. So there we do a treble, two chains and another treble. Chain and then again we do a treble onto each treble we see and a chain onto each chain. This one we leave out. And now you can see what we have. So I'll show you the ending too. So let's do two trebles and a chain and one last treble. Okay, so we started with four chains, then we did two trebles, chain, and then trebles and chains all the way up. Seven total. So the chains here I count as my first one. Three, four, five, six, seven, and then here the tip and again. Three, four, five, six, seven, and that's our row three. So each treble will get one new one except the very outer ones. So the ones at the ends and at the beginning, so whenever you start and finish a row, those will be skipped and the two go always around the first spot when you start each new row and of course the ones on top, treble, chain, treble, and at the end around the last spot again, um, we do two trebles, chain and another treble again. Okay, so here I am. You can see where I started and how the scarf kept growing. So you see the additions on our sides and the lovely triangle shape. And I think it's already looking amazing, but feel free to let me know what you guys think. So due to the length, um, I'm going to stop right here because um, this is all I have left. Okay, so I'm now done. I don't have enough to do another row, so I'll stop it now. And I measured. This has about 150 to 160 centimeters, so it's pretty stretchy. And yeah, in yards, that would be about one and a half approximately. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to let me know what you think of the scarf, if you like the texture, if you tried the pattern out yourself, how it worked.
um, what you would maybe recommend. Or if you, of course, have any wishes for future projects, feel free to post those as well. If you enjoyed, you can also let us know by shooting a thumbs up. And if you'd like to stay updated with our other videos, feel free to click the subscribe button. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.